and it doesn't matter your political views, right or left. That was a moment where it was like, oh, that's what we do. Yeah. It's cool. He went out that. there, bulletproof vest, kicked up his leg, and threw a perfect strike right down Broadway. And I look up, and here's my manager standing right in front of me. And he looks at me and goes, I need you tonight. I said, I got you, Skip. He goes, no, I, I, I freaking need you tonight. I said, I got you. He leaned in and kissed me on this cheek. Started, I said, no, no, don't do that. I want to be a made man. The, the coolest thing that I've ever done, and we talk all this baseball and everything, but I played in six World Series. Two of the losses were very emotional, 1986 and then 2001, which I pitched my tail off in that series. But it was all with the stuff with 9-11. I was New York Yankee. And Jack, what came of that, I got to go to the Middle East to see our men and women. Now I know I feel safe when I go out on a mound in front of 55,000 people. Uh, I was pitching game three of the World Series when President Bush, uh, 43, came out, threw out the first pitch, a perfect strike with a bulletproof vest on at Yankee Stadium. Place lit up like a Christmas tree. I had the best view. Probably 15 snipers on top of the stadium. You could see their silhouettes of our guys. That's a moment in American history that, like, history tells us, what we're supposed to remember yeah and that moment that you were there for in real time yeah is a moment that they'll write about in history books or whatever and it doesn't matter your political views right or left that was a moment where it was like oh that's what we do yeah it's cool you he went out that. there bulletproof vest kicked up his leg and threw a perfect strike right down broadway and uh other than that, it was a little nerve wracking because we were down zero and two, and, I, and, I, and, and the game three you can't lose game three when you're the swing man. That's why Joe Torre, who we call the Godfather, Joe Torre. I mean, straight out of a movie scene. I'm putting my spikes on, tying my shoes, and I look up, and here's my manager standing right in front of me. I stand up in my chair, and he looks at me, and goes, "I need you tonight." I said, "I got you, Skip." He goes, "No, I, I, I freaking need you tonight." I said, "I got." He leaned in and kissed me on this cheek. Started, I said, no, no, don't do that. I don't want to be a made man. I don't want a horse head in my bed. <laughs> Why not, man? Come on. <laughs> the godfather, Mr. Tory.